Hello. Good morning everyone. I am going to say about project information requirements as per ISO 19650 standards. This is about me. I am Teja, working as BIM coordinator at DSA Architects International. I am a certified information manager practitioner. And I am also Autodesk Revit certified professional. I have 8 plus years experience in AAC industry. I have involved in airports, metros, oil and refinery, hotel projects and also residential projects. And I am familiar with Australia, USA, Canada and UAE projects. As per ISO 19650 type of requirements. There are OIRs which are organizational information requirements and AIRs which is asset information requirements and AIM which is asset information model and EIR which is exchange information requirements and also PIM which is project information model from this my topic is project information requirements which are PIRs what is PIR Project information requirements are documents defining the information that needs to be collected, managed and shared in a BIM project. Project information requirements are essential for any successful BIM project because they help to ensure that all project team members have access to the same information and that is accurate and up to date. Key points of project information requirements. The scope of project the types of information that will be collected, the format for the information, the quality standards for the information, the methods for collecting, managing and sharing the information. What are PAR important? They help to ensure that all project team members have access to the same information. They help to ensure that the information is accurate and up to date. They also help to prevent errors and omissions. They help to prove communication and collaboration between project team members. It also ensures that the project meets its objectives. How to create project information requirements? Identify the stakeholders who will need the access to the information. Determine the types of information that will be needed. Define the format of the information. Identify the methods for collecting, managing and sharing the information. Establish quality standards for the information. Examples of project information requirements. The list of building components that will be included in the BIM model. Relation between the building components. The maintenance and operation requirements. The dimension and materials of the building components and the construction sequences. Support for the delivery of assets. Throughout the delivery phase, there are number of decisions that to be made by the project team. At each of the key decision point. As shown here in the red diamonds. It is for the appointing party to decide. How many key decision points there will be during the delivery phase and this will vary from project to project and typically relates to the type of asset being delivered at the size and complexity of the project. For example, we have shown three key decision points during each stage. For the decision to be informed decisions, there will be invariably to be a Number of questions that need to be answered. It is the information contained with the project information model that provides answers to these questions. So, this is where the project information requirements come into play and why they are important to supporting the delivery phase of the assets. Asking the right questions. It is highly recommended that. Each project 
information requirement addresses each question that needs to be answered written using plain non technical language rather than a specific piece of information such as a drawing or a document the idea being that by writing project information requirements as questions this enables delivery teams to develop innovative solutions to provide the right answers using the most effective and efficient method and this is the flow chart as it is the project information model that provides the answers to these questions it is important that they are considered along with the level of information need when establishing what information is and what is not needed within the project information model the same goes suppose construction information requirements the same goes for the virtual construction model delivery teams may also have their own requirements for information needed to fulfill their scope of services for the appointment suppose project information model requires project information requirements asset information model requires asset information requirements design intent model requires design information requirements in the same way virtual construction model requires construction in information requirements collectively the project design and construction information requirements determine the level of information needed within the project information model decision points in the example below there are six key decision points that have been identified three of which we use the information within the design intent model and three that we use the information within the virtual construction model once the project information requirements have been established and communicated the delivery teams can then establish their design or construction information requirements as such task teams must consider the corresponding project design and construction information requirements when determining the level of information needed within the design or construction information that they will produce as part of the project information model at each key decision point when it comes to eir what is exchange information requirements exchange information requirements contain the asset and project information requirements for each appointment on the project and define what information is needed and to be produced within the project information model during the appointment in the same way from oar eir will be generated for generating aim aiirs is required for generation of pirs oirs requirement in the same way for generation of eirs to produce eirs asset information requirement is required and project information requirements is required and to generate project information model eirs plays key role and project information model use the asset information model in the context of information management exchange information requirements are appended to an appointment as a separate schedule which defines the requirements for information to be delivered as part of the appointment appointing party will have an in the flow chart below appointing party has two lead appointed parties under them there will be appointed parties which are sub appointments
cascading exchange information requirements. This is the schedule of exchange information requirements are required for each appointment. For example, project information requirements and EARs and design intent model. And design information requirements, a lead appointed party, design inform exchange information requirements and design information. At each key decision point, these are the information required for appointing party, to lead appointed party, and to appointed party. Appointing party requires the design intent model to meet our asset and project information requirements at these critical decision points. Lead appointed party requires the design information to meet the exchange information requirements of the appointing parties as well as our design information requirements. Appointed party need to produce the design information in order to meet the lead appointed party exchange information requirements. Exchange information requirements will be one to one, whereas appointing party, there are variety of appointing party will have only one lead appointed party. And also one to many. In this case, appointing party will be the one and there is two or more lead appointed parties. And many to one case, there will be one lead appointed party which are having two or more appointing parties. In a one to one structure is where an appointing party engages a single lead appointed party to produce information for a single decision point. In one to many, a one to many structure is where the appointing party is engages two or more lead appointed parties to produce information for the same key decision point. The same way at each key decision points, appointing party will raise questions and the task teams will provide answers to those appointing parties questions. This is the many to one flowchart. A many to one structure is where the appointing party engages a single lead appointed party to produce information for two or more key decision points. When it comes to lead appointed party exchange information requirements. Once engaged by the appointing party, the lead appointed party needs to engage its appointed parties. To do this, they also need to establish a schedule of lead appointing party exchange information requirements for inclusion within each of the appointed parties appointments. There are one to one, one to many, and many to one. In this example flowchart, the lead appointed party combines the design information requirements for each key decision point along with any of appointing parties exchange information requirements for each key decision points and prepare a schedule of lead appointed parties exchange information requirement for inclusion within the appointed parties appointment. Now we came to conclusion. PAR an essential part of any BIM project by taking the time to create well-defined PAR. Project teams can improve communication, collaboration and design making and ultimately they will deliver successful projects. If we do not comply project information requirement throughout the project delivery phase, this can lead to the following outcomes which is the expectation versus reality. We will expect something 
and reality will get something. So, PARs are very important at the throughout the delivery project delivery phase. Thank you. Thank you so much.